Maybe I do wish I got my own. It's a better note day, everyone. Prince of the Bear here. We're back at Magic Kingdom because it's time to return to Town Hall or Tony's restaurant. It's the Olive Garden of, of Disney World. Wow, that's a little harsh. It's a little bit better than that. I'm feeling Lady and Tramp theme. Tony's not going to sing to us, but I am craving some Italian food. So we're going to go get some grub. Not in the alleyway. Is it alleyway. tribute to most all things, but mostly Melissa and Edna? You heard the girl. I'm always like on the fence. I love lemonade flavored things, but I don't love lemon. I know that it's this weird sort of confliction, but I just do not love lemon, unless it's lemonade. I also don't like side parts. So I was happy to let the princess order this one because I honestly didn't want anyone near it. And of course she had to order it. It's the only vegan one they have. And now I gotta drink it anyway. I'm not excited. Smells like pledge. It's an all right drink. You taste the alcohol. It's extremely tart, like lemonade style, but right after that, it's like getting smacked in the face with this fresh lemon. If you were a little bit, I don't know, tired, half asleep, Maybe you went back to the hotel for a nap and then came back to the park, came here before you stayed with the fireworks. This would probably wake you up. For me though, it's a two and a half out of five claws. I would not order this, but there is a strong bias built into that rating. Mileage may vary. Here we have the sparkling peach cocktail. Looks like a bath. And it's not sparkling. It's sparkling probably for the carbonation. Smells like peach. Now they did check this to make sure there was no mango in it. They do have another Little Italy cocktail that obviously I can't have because they're worried about killing me, which is great. Uh, but this, all peach and berry. Mm. It's basically peach puree and prosecco. It's basically like a bigger, slightly more alcoholic bellini. But it works. It's really not that sparkling. It feels almost like sipping a smoothie. Three out of five blocks. So here we have this um, vegan house salad. It looks smaller than before because previously, Bear and I used to be able to share the salad. But it also now has some fried um, chickpeas on it, which I'm not mad at. I love chickpeas. I'm going to take an extra large bite of this salad. Cheers. I really love the crispiness of the chickpeas, but none of this is seasoned. It's bland AF. It's like watered um, dressing. If there's even dressing on this at all, it needs pepper. It needs something. It's like it doesn't even compete in this salad, best salad around Disney World. Like West Oberon. This is like. This is like with the first time you learn how to make salad, but you don't know how to dress it properly. So you just like accidentally water down your dressing. This is this is a one out of five salad. This doesn't even begin to top my salad. This is like um, like a tea. 
in the toss. Like you're not even trying to toss my salad. You just you just fail. You just fail. And and I'm not gonna. I'm, you are gonna be a shamed salad tossing. Like I'm not gonna tell anybody that you toss my salad. I'm not even gonna try. I'm gonna try to hide that as much as possible. It's just that bad of a salad tossing. It's not gonna. It's sad because the princess and I do normally share this salad. For some other reason, we're like, maybe we shouldn't do that. And I'm glad I didn't. This thing just looks sad. The color, like, it's just some greens and some purples with some chickpeas. There is some zucchini in here, but like, look at that. Actually, no, that's a half a piece stuck together. Cucumber. It is, um, this thing's looking like it's got some problems at its base, at its core. Can I, can I get a chickpea? Can a, brother, can a brother get a chickpea? There we go. One single chickpea that fell. Not meant to be, I guess. I got one. I'm a chickpea, give a little crunch. I take it with people that make chickpeas at home very often. Seasoning chickpeas is not hard. Especially when they're roasted like these are. It's like our, a style with a no-name vinaigrette. Like I'm getting nothing. I'm getting no payback for my healthy choice. You're gonna give me a healthy choice. Give me something to celebrate. This just makes me wanna go sit in the alley with the dogs. One and a half out of five o'clock. It's edible. But you're not getting you're not getting anything out of it. Representing for the vegetarian family out there, I got the caprese. You got these nice big pieces of mozzarella on top of these huge tomatoes. Peppers and this pesto sauce. This is good. Like, I was expecting like two tomatoes. And this could almost be a meal if you wanted to go light. Just go ahead and uh, give it a little cut. See how it looks on the fork. Look at that. That is some pretty mozzarella. Be proud. You'd be happy. Beautiful. Beautiful. How it tastes as good as it looks. Mm. I like that the mozzarella got some firmness to it. That herb sauce and tomato, a little bit of pepper on it, a little bit of salt. That perfect balance of mozzarella and tomato. Not one doing better than the other. It's a dance, and they're dancing well. Like dancing with the stars, but not as boring. Three and a half out of five claws. I don't know how many times we've been to Tony's. I want to say at least four. And we've had this like three times. I feel like this is our fourth time. This is the smallest version of this I've ever gotten. Meeples used to be like three times this size. And it wasn't served in a bowl. It was served on a plate. So this is really interesting to me. But you would downsize it this much and still charge the same. But let's see if it's still, I don't know, I hope it's not bland. I'm gonna try and, these um, meatballs are so hard that I can't just fork it in half. I gotta cut it. And it's chasing me around the bowl. Here we go. All right. I got my half. Now I gotta get my pasta. Let me go ahead and get that. Oh, lost it. Retry that. There we go. Cheers. It's basic. It needs pepper. It needs judging. Maybe some vegan parm. It's just like canned. Spaghetti. With some tasty meatball. The meatball is small. So I don't know. It's good, but it is like the Olive Garden of Disney World. I would give it like a three out of five pasta. It's like the best pasta. It is better than something that you get at like Tutor Alfarno though. Right? Tutor, Tutor, no. Yeah, Tutor Alfarno. The uh, Tutor Italian. 
definitely better than anything you can get at Tito Italia for a vegan option. And even Viennapoli. Well, no, I think the Viennapoli pizza is better than this. The Viennapoli vegan salad is definitely better than one here. So yeah, it's like a three out of five pasta. It's awesome. You come to Tony's. This is one of the first restaurants you get when you come to Magic Kingdom. It's in a weird spot, both ge geologically and foodie-wise, because it's like, it's another Disney Italian restaurant. Mind you, it's like an Tramp theme, but like, if I'm gonna get basic Italian dishes here, I would expect some elevation. Basic spaghetti and meatballs, it works, it's on Brown Lady and Tramp, but it's just a little something extra. Some parm, a couple of veggies, something. But I digress. We're already here. Let's do as the dog goes would. Twirl. Not that I'm sure they do the twirl. And a little bit of meatball. I like the meatball. The meatball is given Italian meatball. It's not blowing me out of the park. For plant-based meatballs, maybe they have better meatballs at the um, festivals at Epcot. But it works in, in as far as spaghetti. Spaghetti itself, I'm gonna say this in the nicest way possible. It's giving me Maria and Enzo vibes. And if you've been around for long enough, you know that those aren't good vibes. But it's spaghetti. You're craving spaghetti. Maybe your aunt's unseasoned spaghetti sauce. It might be for you. It might not be for you. It's not your grandma's sauce. It's definitely not your mother's sauce. And even if it was, you would never book it out loud at the table. But it's probably like your aunt or your uncle's wife, maybe. Possibly. Two out of five bucks. Well, here we have the sustainable fish. I don't know what I was expecting because on the menu it was saying uh, something like an eggplant carpario and Stuff, but basically, it's ratatouille with salmon on top. There's some onion, you got some scalloped potatoes here. It's a pretty looking dish, it's plated very well. Um, but it's, and it's a significant log of salmon. We're gonna go ahead and just cut into the salmon first. Because if you ruin salmon for me, as a bear, I'm probably gonna come for you. Well, it's very moist, falling apart. Don't even need the knife. Let's give that a taste. Mm. The skin is super crispy. A lemony flavor to it. I'm not ocean at all. I definitely seasoned it well. As far as salmon goes, it's still nice. Now let's try it with some of the ratatouille and a little bit of this uh, like scalloped potato they have here. It is in fact a potato. I know at first look it looks like a like scallop. Nope, it is actually a potato. A bit of the ratatouille. The salmon, that, the potato. I feel like we've had better ratatouille base in our property. The salmon's good. The fixings in ratatouille just feels like tomato ragu like on a plate. The potatoes are good, nice and crispy skin. I would say it's average. It's two and a half out of five If You're really craving coming to Tony's. Maybe you need dinner, but you just want to be at the park here late, like tonight, we're jumping to midnight. It's a meal that's definitely going to fill you up for the entire night. Like, you're definitely going to be full. But if you're craving, like, Italian food, there are far better choices in this new property. Far better. Three to five plus. We always, for Italian food, if you're craving Italian food, recommend Trattoria Alfredo. Like, that's one of our favorite Italian restaurants on the property. After that, even if you were to go to Italia, I think it's a better choice than here. Uh, after that, I'd probably say, mm, Mama Milrose has like some Italian vibes, but it's not really, it's like Italian light. It's still better than this. Usually I get a bottle, this time I get a glass of the Rosso Regale because I really feel like no trip to Tony's is complete without a glass, at least, of Rosso Regale. This is your standard, your vegan, uh, 
sparkling wine. I've never had it served to me in one of these glasses before. Usually it's like a wine glass, so I guess cheers. Hopefully it's more um, ounces. Consistently good. Three out of five roasted galleys. It's gonna be good with dessert. I don't know how I feel about wines in a cocktail glass. It feels, it feels wrong. It feels off. Especially in a restaurant that's supposed to be like a little Italy. It feels wrong. Here we are. That same sparkling juicy juice. Very grapey. Very soda-like. But if you're not like a heavy wine person, this is... It's gonna be up your alley. You'll love this. You'll drink this thing like uh, so many adult juice boxes. Three and a half out of five points. Bear got this once at like uh, Enzo's Hideaway and he hated it, I think. I think that was it. Or it was Marina. One or the other. I don't like this beer. It's just too yeasty for me. I'm gonna give it like a two out of five beers. It's just not my jam. But maybe you might like it. It's like a three or four steps above a Bud Light. It's not for me. I know not of which witchcraft the princess speaks. Me and Peroni, or like me and Cronenberg in France, or like me and Dunkel in Germany. Like we have a thing, an unspoken bond. Either. Cheers. Mm. Nice, crisp liquid, but it's a little complex on the front end, but it's not like really bitter. Nice drinkability to it. I've always compared it to Italian Bud Light, and it drinks very well. Three out of five points. Strawberry shortcake with basil. Almost as beautiful and delicious looking as Hoopty do, but we'll see, because Hoopty really has the best strawberry shortcake. Go with one of my ginormous bites. Mmm. Mmm. So good. So delicious, tender, moist, tasty, fresh strawberries. Fresh basil. So good. Like number two to the best strawberry shortcake. Hoopty is still number one. I don't think anything can beat Hoopty. This is still a four and a half out of five. Strawberry shortcakes? It's pretty tasty. I'm not a dessert connoisseur. You guys will know that I only try desserts because you guys want me to try more of them. So I'm willing to share with the princess. There was no way in the world I was going to be able to finish my own dessert. Even by itself, this is way too much for me. But I love strawberries. I do sometimes like cake. How bad could it be? Oh, oh. All the layers. I think the best part about this is I don't detect any hint of like that plant-based aftertaste. You get with like some cakes. It's nice with cream, strawberry, the basil. has a nice touch on top of the sweetness with the cake. Maybe I do wish I got my own. Four out of five plus. Maybe just come and drink some dessert. Drink some dessert. I feel like Tony's is where you come after you've had a full day of Magic Kingdom snacks and you just want something in your stomach, but you I, don't really care what it is. I feel like Tony's is the place that you want to go to if you want to sit outside and like you go and you have a reservation during a parade time so that you can like sit and drink and eat while you watch a parade go by. But outside of that, it's just an overpriced Olive Garden with less, less better food. Oh, Olive Garden almost feels like an insult to Olive Garden. The food is food. Like, don't get me wrong, it's edible. You're not gonna get sick. You're not gonna go and puke it all in the toilet. 
But um, I just want to say that the focaccia bread portion has gotten so freaking tiny. Like we didn't order it, obviously, but like we saw other tables around us, and like it's basically been sliced in half, and like it's like five little like half pieces of focaccia. So it's like literally a third of what it used to be. We're watching you, Disney. We're watching you. But if you want to come out in defense of Tony's ball means. The comments are going to be places to let us know. Listen in, I'm sorry, but the food here is not fantastic. Not feeling it. But if there's anything else you can see us do, of course, as your number one choice in foodie infotainment, the comments is always going to be a place to find us. Hit the notification bell for when we see other videos like this, and... We have new videos five days a week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. Hey. We will see you soon. Share, subscribe, and like this video. And if you don't comment, Bear's going to eat himself into the Christmas oh, tree. This bear don't climb trees, but you heard the girl.